Denise, you're hitting me with a lot of questions for a three minute answer, but let's see what I can plow through. Uh, Denise asked, what lab test do you recommend for mycotoxin illness? Okay, so let me, let me start with that one. Um, mycotoxin illness, first lab I do is the uh, urine mycotoxin lab. I use Vibrant America because they check for 32 mycotoxins as opposed to less than half of that with the other labs, okay? And I'll put a link to that with this video. That's a fasting urine test. So you stop eating and drinking, say on a Sunday night after supper, dry fast overnight, at least 12 plus hours, collect your morning pee. You want it strong like the apple juice color, and that's what you're going to send in. So that's the one I use the most often. Um, two, 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 if you suspect colonies in the sinuses and lungs. Okay, so you're still going to do, if, if mycotoxin is making you sick, you're still going to do that urine test. If you suspect you have uh, aspergillosis, like a fungal infection in the lungs, you're going to have to go get a scan done. Okay, so you'd go to your medical doctor and, and, and you know, make your case. Say, I think I have mold growing in my lungs and they will send you for whether it's an x-ray or a CT scan or what it is they're going to do. In your sinuses, you can get um, um, uh, Marcon swab. I'll try to find the link for that and post it. I can never remember the name of the lab. Uh, but having fungus, having mold in the sinuses is common for anyone that's mold sick. So everyone should be addressing their sinuses at some point. Like, and then you're going to ask me, what do I use for my sinuses? So this is a, a B propolis nasal spray with frankincense added. And that is super awesome. Antifungal herbs and B propolis can help the biome of the sinuses. Argentin 23, which is a colloidal silver. Do they call it colloidal silver? Bioactive silver hydrosol. Okay. Uh, and I should say some people say that it can create a mast cell reaction, the silver. So if you are, if you have mast cell activation, uh, aka SEERS, then, or SERS, um, the silver may not be an option for you. Uh, Microbalance health products has citra drops. This is definitely one of the ones you should be rotating in. That is a homeopathic nasal spray. And x -Lear is the xylitol spray. So for sinuses, what I do with clients is have them pick three. Uh, they can also make their own. You can look up Jill Krista's video on, on DIY um, sinus spray for mold on YouTube. And you can add in, there's a lot of antifungal herbs you can use. You can make your own, but pick three. Month one, month two, month three, month four, month five, month six. Okay, maybe three times a day. So that covers your sinus question. Um, what company and test do you recommend for home testing? All right. So for home testing, you're going to do an ERMI. That is the test that gives you the most uh, beneficial data, the most data, the most accurate data, uh, if you collect it properly. And I will put the link for the ERMI on my website, pharmacy.com. I use Envirobiomics, but when buying through pharmacy, it includes a Zoom consultation with me where I tell you uh, what it means and what to look for, all those things that aren't in the uh, included with the report, but matter because it affects the body. So I'll put the link for that. Well, I guess I did get through them all pretty quick. All right. I, uh, where is it? All right. I hope that helps, Denise. Bye-bye. Do you have questions about mold in your home or body? Book a consultation with Matt, a.k.a. The Mold Man, to guide your home and body to the next level of healing. 